that is just really imperative that no matter where you are and what you're going through in life, that you believe. It's important that you believe in the opportunity that you're creating for yourself. And then even outside of believing in the big picture of the opportunity, understanding that each of the little steps that you take lead you in the direction of ultimately who you are to become. And the reason I share that story with you is when I was incarcerated in 2011, I would have to get up every day. 3.45 3.45 in the morning. They would take me out of my cell, take me downstairs in a holding pen, strip search me, cough, check, hands up, everything. Then we would be taken outside of the prison and we would have to walk up and down the highway in the state of Maryland, literally 40, 50 miles a day, just picking up trash. And that was my job. Everybody that was on my tier was assigned a job. So during that time, I made probably 27 cents a day for walking 50 miles. So if you kind of break that down, like for a mile, I was probably getting paid like 0.005 of a cent. But it was just from that space that one, I believe that that wasn't gonna always be my life. And I began to kind of picture the parole process. And no matter what happened in prison, you would always hear that no one got parole their first time up. So every night I would go to sleep, I would look up at my bunk, see my son's picture, maybe see the scriptures that I wrote down. But then I would envision myself going in front of the parole board and just explaining my situation and how I believe that I was a different person. And if you give me an opportunity, I can show you that I wanted a different chance. And I believed every night that was my routine. Look at my bunk, look at my scriptures, and play this scene in my head. So finally, the opportunity presents itself, and I go in front of the parole board. Walking in there is three people, two white women and one African-American man. And they asked me a line of questions, and they grilled me, and I felt intimidated. I felt a little persecuted at the time. And I don't think that I felt I left my best impression, but I conveyed that if I was given an opportunity just to show that I wanted different, that I wouldn't let them down. Like if you put me in the arena, you put me somewhere near the football field, I'm going to make a play. And that's pretty much what I told them. And we went back. So Christmas came around. No word from the parole board, just sitting there. I'm thinking I'm going to get out for New Year's. New Year's come around. Still no word from the parole board, sitting there, blown. It's 2012 now. Mind you, I went up in front of the parole board in 2011. So ultimately, January 10th came around. And I got a call from the CEO. Hey, come to the top of the tier. At the top of the tier was my case manager. And on my first try, one going, one speaking, they granted me parole, immediate release. Boom. So it went from a space where I was looking at facing 14 years to now I was gonna be home in less than 14 days. A total different shock in reality, but I believe in my heart of hearts, even till today now, this is seven years later, that I wouldn't be in this place now if I didn't start believing seven years ago. Even then I thought that, okay, the training, the push-ups that I'm doing in myself, all of that was making me a better person, a different person. I did not quite understand how it would evolve, But I believe, like seven years ago, I believed that this would happen. So being blessed with an opportunity just to share my story and believing that hopefully there's something that I can share with you to continue to motivate you all to, despite whatever adversity, despite whatever obstacle, how hard it looks, whatever competition you're playing behind, whatever test is in front of you, just to continue to push yourself and, and believe that you're supposed to be in the room. A lot of times we marginalize ourselves because we don't even believe we deserve the opportunity. But if you don't believe in yourself, who is?